Thanks for clicking on this Inland Sports video. If you're a local business or an organization and you'd like to promote here on the Inland Sports Show, just send us an email, inlandsportsshow at gmail.com. Right now, we're going to start on the wrestling mat. We are going live straight up to Bakersfield where the, uh, the host city for the CIF state meet, the Canyon Springs Cougars joining us live on the show. Listen, we've got a couple guys that are going to be in the hunt for a CIF state championship this coming weekend for the Cougars. Before we get to them, I know Coach Lowe, Jason Lowe is running around there somewhere. Coach, can I get you? There he is. I want to get him on there first. Hey, hey. Coach, listen, I know you guys just got into Bakersfield. You haven't even gotten your hotel room. I know the action starts bright and early Friday morning. How are you feeling about your guys right there as you go into the state meet? Feeling great. Yeah, we went uh, straight to the arena to get a workout in, check our weight. They did all the workout. Now uh, we're going to check into the room, shower up and get some rest and be ready to go tomorrow. All right. We got Sonny Kling. We got Richard Murillo. And, and guys, listen, both of you went to the CIF state tournament last year. Both of you were runner up. You came so close. And Sonny, I'll start with you, man. Coming so close, how does that fuel you? How does that drive you to maybe finish on top of that podium this weekend? Well, it didn't feel good uh, coming in second last year, and I'm really hungry this year for the state title. So I've been putting in a lot of work. Nutrition's really good, and I'm ready to go. And, Richard, the same thing, man. I mean, you were in the same boat. You're, it's probably the same answer as, as, as Sonny just said. But coming so close last year, um, what do you think you might be able to do differently this year so you can come in first place in the state? Yeah, just uh, stay focused. I've been training hard ever since that loss last year to take it back this year. And, Coach Lowe, I mean, how much do you guys – talk about last year do you try to you know put that in the past and be like guys this is new season you're probably gonna be wrestling maybe some new guys and probably some familiar names as well but how much do you look at last year you know to fuel or motivate maybe going into this state meet a little bit of both yeah we we uh, learn off of the the past and take that um to to drive us and but it is a new year new competitors and anything goes you know this round and uh yeah they're ready to go now, both of you guys obviously were Masters champions as well. Sonny, at the yeah. Masters meet, what did you do well that you feel like you're optimistic, you're confident going into the state meet, like you, you'll have a chance to maybe win a state title? What did you do well at Masters? I know that my timing on my shots is really good, and my down block spin behind, all that stuff, and my top, bottom, everything feels really good right now. feels on point. So I'm pretty much everywhere. And same thing for you, Richard. I mean, you feel like you're wrestling the best you have all season long, like you're peaking at the right time as you go into the state meet coming off Masters? Yeah, I feel like I'm um, well prepared for this tournament. And coach, I mean, wrestling, man, it's a, it's a hard season. It's a long season. You get to the end where it matters the most. How do, you, how do you kind of budget your practice times, your training sessions to make sure that they're still fresh, they're still at their best this time of the year? Uh. Yeah, there's no more uh, learning techniques. Okay? They, they've already gotten what they're going to do this year, and so we just uh, try to fine-tune stuff, work on timing, um, get our uh, weight under control, and just fine-tune a little bit of things. But a good drill session uh, each day, and uh, we don't go super long and intense with our, our bodies, but just try to get them to peak and be ready to go. All right, Coach, I do want to get back to Sonny and Remy over there, but I know you've got four wrestlers total up there in Bakersfield for the state meet. You want to introduce your, uh, your female grapplers there? Yeah, this is Kyrie Rubio, a heavyweight girl. And this is Paris Cleese, our 170-pound girl. Ladies, congrats to, to making it to the state meet. Um, what are your goals this weekend? Just to maybe have fun and see how high you can finish? Uh, personally, I feel like it is to have fun and go out there and show what I've been working. And if it's not this season, it'll be next season. And how about you as well? I feel pretty good this year. It's my last year. So everything that I've been working on feels really good. And I feel very confident in this. Just leave it all out there, right? This is your last dance. This is the last chance to do it. Yeah. Hey, Coach, let me bring you back on because, you know, this is, this is a, um, a question I'll ask you, and I think I know the answer, but girls wrestling, just the sport of girls wrestling, has grown in leaps and bounds in the last, I would say, maybe just five years or so, maybe ten years at the most. But how have you seen this sport grow and grow so quickly? 
yeah, it's the quickest growing sport, I think, in the in the nation, um, college level also. So it's getting really exciting. I know when I started coaching, there were there were no girls, maybe one girl uh, in the whole state. Uh, and then it just started getting growing and getting bigger and bigger. And then they finally had to get their own sport, uh, their own season. And it's growing like crazy and uh, all around the all around the nation. So it's really exciting. All right, Coach Lowe, you're going to have to refresh my memory here about Canyon Springs yeah. wrestling. Ha has right. the school had any individual wrestling state champions? Because I know about 10 years ago you had a stud. I can't remember his name right now, but I know he, I know he made it to the state meet. We've had uh, a rich tradition. Yeah, we have a lot of state champions um, back from the Stephen Abbas and Norman Abbas. And then we've had um, both Blancos, Luis and Carlos Blanco. and. Uh, Johnny Rojas, they've all been state champions. So, Coach, obviously. So I, I personally have had uh, three others in the finals, four, four finalists, all been runner-up. So I'm looking for my first state champ as the head coach. So, so going up there to Bakersfield, obviously it's in a huge arena, you know, and there's going to be lots of eyes. And especially if you make it to the final round, you guys know what I'm talking about because you were in the finals last year. Uh, you know, the, the, the center stage, the lights are all on you. All the eyes are on that one match. Coach, how do you, how do you prepare them for that? Do you just try to say, hey, it's, it's another wrestling match, whether we're, you know, in the wrestling room at Canyon Springs or we're here on the center stage in front of, you know, 15,000 people. It's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I try to stress that as well as we also go to big tournaments in the off season to get prepared for that. So it's not a, you know, as a, a shocker, um, we made them do bigger tournaments and bigger arenas. So that, that kind of helps, I think, get them ready for it. They both have been there last year. So they're coming back uh, with all that experience, um, ready to do one up it from last year. All right, Sonny, let me ask you this. Uh, how do you prepare for it, whether it's the state meet or just any sort of big tournament? Is there a certain food you eat or a food you avoid maybe or a certain music you listen to or, or something in your routine that kind of gets you in that, you know, that right mindset to go out there and have a good meet? Yes, there's a lot of preparation that goes into it. Like diet is number one after every practice, making sure you're feeling upright, recovering. I like to do a, like a keto-based diet. That usually helps me out a lot. And then practicing, just getting a lot of drilling in, a lot of takedowns, work on the timing. And that's pretty much it. And Richard, Remy over here, I mean, you went up a weight class. You're at, well, I think, 126, right? right? And you were 120 last year. Do you feel like you're, you're stronger, more competitive in this weight division at 126? Yeah, I've been um, doing a lot more weight training this year than last year. So I feel like that got me a lot stronger. Well, Coach Lowe, man, listen, yeah, Canyon Springs has a couple guys that should be in the hunt for a state championship come Saturday night. You got a couple gals behind you as well. So four Cougars and all up there in Bakersfield for the CIF state tournament. Coach Lowe, listen, I know you guys just rolled in. I really appreciate the time. We will be following you down here in the Inland Empire to see how you guys are doing all weekend long. So, Coach, really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes, Thank sir. you. That is Coach Lowe, Sonny Kling, Richard Murillo, and the Canyon Springs wrestling team here on the Inland Sports Show. Thank you so much, guys. Good luck this weekend. Inland Sports.